Hey YouTube, Southwest 252 here with another video, and this time it's of Northern Virginia International Airport update number 107 for October of 2024. But before I get into the update, I would just like to say I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. We're going to start off with Terminal 1, and this American 777-200 will be going to Barcelona. This American 787-9 will be going to London Heathrow or Michael Williams' airport. This American 787-9 will be going to Munich. This American 787-8 will be going to Amsterdam. This American 777-200 will be going to Madrid. This American 787-9 will be going to Rome. This American 777-200 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This American 777-300 will be going to Frankfurt. This American A321 will be going to Cancun. This American 737-800 will be going to Mexico City. And this American 737-800 in the One World livery will be going to Aruba. This American 787-8 will be going to Dublin. This American 777-300 will be going to Sao Paulo. This American 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. And this American 777-300 will be going to Barcelona. Over at Terminal 2, this American 737 MAX 8 has pulled in from Raleigh-Durham or Gemini Jets 231's airport and will then be going to Phoenix Sky Harbor or Deering Marks' airport. This American 737-800 has pulled in from Dallas-Fort Worth or North Texas Spotters Airport and will then be going to Chicago O'Hare or Blades Airport. This American A321 has pulled in from Seattle-Tacoma or SeaTac Aviation HD's airport and will then be going to Philadelphia or Aviation 2003's airport. And this American A320 will be going to Charlotte. This American A319 has pulled in from Orlando or Pinnacle Aviation's airport and will then be going to Rocky View International or Gemini Jets 26's airport. This American A321neo will be going to Flagstaff Pulliam International or Flagstaff Apeaks Airport. This American A321neo will be going to Mooresville International or Valtonics's Airport. This American 737-800 has pulled in from Pittsburgh or U.S. Air Aviation 737's airport and will then be going to New York JFK or Benjamin Myers' airport. This American 737-800 will be going to Miami. This American A319 will be going to Nashville. And this 737 MAX 8 will be going to Boston. The JetBlue A321 in the new livery will be going to Las Vegas. The JetBlue A220-300 will be going to Boston. This JetBlue A320 will be going to Fort Lauderdale. And the next JetBlue A320 will be going to Orlando. The Alaska 737-800 will be going to Flagstaff Pulliam International or Flagstaff Geeks Airport. The Alaska 737 MAX 9 has pulled in from Seattle or Amazing Aviations Airport and will then be going to Orange County or Comet 21's airport. And the Alaska 737-900 will be going to Seattle or IF Weekly 13's airport. Over at Terminal 5, this Virgin Atlantic A330-300 will be going to London Heathrow. The KLM 787-9 will be going to Amsterdam. The Air France 777-300 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. The Korean Air 747-8 will be going to Seoul. The Emirates A380 will be going to Dubai. The ITA A350-900 will be going to Rome. The Iberia A350-900 will be going to Madrid. The British Airways A350-1000 will be going to London Heathrow. The Qantas 787-9 will be going to Sydney via Los Angeles. The Lufthansa A330-300 will be going to Frankfurt or Captain K's airport. 
the Scandinavian A350-900 will be going to Copenhagen or Copenhagen Spotter 20s Airport. The ANA 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. The Etihad 787-9 will be going to Abu Dhabi. The Qatar A350-900 will be going to Doha. The Air Canada 737 MAX 8 has pulled in from Toronto Pearson or Canadian Aviations Airport and will then be going to St. John's or CYYT Aviations Airport. The WestJet 737 MAX 8 will be going to Toronto Pearson. The Aer Lingus A321neo will be going to Dublin. The Aeromexico 737-800 will be going to Guadalajara or Marco Perez's airport. The Copa 737-800 will be going to Panama City. The Iceland Air 737 MAX 8 will be going to Reykjavik. This JetBlue A321neo will be going to London Gatwick. This JetBlue A321neo will be going to Cancun. And this JetBlue A321neo will be going to Aruba. This Delta Connection E170 will be going to New York LaGuardia. And the Delta Connection CRJ900 will be going to New York JFK. The United Express CRJ550 will be going to New York. The United Express E175 will be going to Houston Intercontinental. The American Eagle E-175 will be going to Pittsburgh or PIT Aviations Airport. The next American Eagle E-175 will be going to Minneapolis-St. Paul. The American Eagle CRJ-700 will be going to Memphis. And the American Eagle CRJ-900 will be going to New York LaGuardia. At Terminal 6, this United 737-800 will be going to Aruba. This United 737-700 will be going to Kingston, Jamaica. This United 757-200 will be going to Cancun. This Delta A321 will be going to Aruba. The Delta 737-900 will be going to Cancun. This Delta A321 will be going to Mexico City. And the Delta 737-800 will be going to Monterrey or Rogelio Fuentes Marie's Airport. The United 767-300 will be going to Lima. The United 777-200 will be going to London Heathrow. The Delta A350-900 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. The next Delta A350-900 will be going to Seoul. This United 777-300 will be going to Frankfurt. The United 787-9 will be going to Bangalore or Vicky's Aviations Airport. The Delta 767-400 will be going to London Heathrow. The Delta A330neo will be going to Hamburg or Widget 787's airport. This United 787-9 will be going to Dubai or Alex Aviation 420's airport. The United 787-10 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. And this Delta A330-300 will also be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This Delta A330-300 will be going to Amsterdam, and the United 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. Over at Terminal 4, this Southwest 737-700 has pulled in from Oceanfront International, or Aviation 36's airport, and will then be going to Grand Teton Yellowstone International Airport, or SLC Aviations Airport. The Southwest 737-700 in the Maryland 1 livery has pulled in from Park City or Hens Airs Aviations Airport and will then be going to Kansas City or MCI Aviations Airport. The next Southwest 737-700 has pulled in from Everglades Southern Florida International Airport or SLC Aviations Airport and will then be going to Los Angeles or Alex Aviation 420's Airport. The next Southwest 737-700, this one in the Colorado 1 livery, has pulled in from Nashville or Braden's Aviations Airport and will then be going to New York LaGuardia or Rocky Mountains Aviations Airport. The next Southwest 737-700 will be going to Atlanta. This Southwest 737-800 has pulled in from Blue Sky International or Max 8 Aviations Airport and will then be going to Orange County or Cade Lellums Airport. This Southwest 737 MAX 8 
has pulled in from Grand Rapids or Captain NASCAR 24's airport and will then be going to Pittsburgh or PIT Aviation's airport. The Southwest 737-800 and the New Mexico 1 livery will be going to San Diego. The Southwest 737-700 in the Missouri 1 livery will be going to Denver. The Southwest 737-700 in the Florida 1 livery has pulled in from Austin or Aviation 14's airport and will then be going to Tampa or TPA Spotter 11's airport. This Southwest 737-800 will be going to Houston Hobby. The Southwest 737-800 in the Tennessee 1 livery will be going to Fort Lauderdale. This Southwest 737 MAX 8 will be going to Las Vegas. The next Southwest 737 MAX 8 will be going to Oklahoma City. This Southwest 737-800 will be going to Indianapolis. And the Southwest 737 MAX 8 in the Amuva 1 Special livery will be going to Orlando. The Avello 737-800 will be going to New Haven. And the Breeze A220-300 will be going to San Bernardino. And finally, over at Terminal 3, this Sun Country 737-800 will be going to Los Angeles or Dino Aviation Orca 1290's airport. The Allegiant A320 will be going to Orlando Stanford. The Spirit A320neo will be going to Chicago O'Hare. The Frontier A320neo will be going to Denver. The Delta A319 will be going to Minneapolis-St. Paul or Gemini Jets 2001's airport. The Delta A220-300 has pulled in from Grand Teton Yellowstone International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport. The Delta A220-100 has pulled in from Ohio River International Airport or Riley Rail Aviation and Trucks' airport and will then be going to Everglades Southern Florida International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport. The Delta 737-800 has pulled in from Star Valley International or Aviation 737's airport. The Delta 737-900 will be going to San Francisco. The Delta 757-200 will be going to Atlanta. And the Delta A321neo will be going to Winston-Salem International Airport or Anomaly X's airport. The United 737-800 has pulled in from Austin or Newark Aviation's airport and will then be going to Sun County International Airport or Kyle 799's airport. This United 737-800 in the Star Alliance livery has pulled in from Boston or Aviation with Connors Airport and will then be going to Denver or Mile High Aviation's airport. This United A319 has pulled in from Pittsburgh or PIT Aviation's airport and will then be going to Flagstaff Palima International or Flagstaff Ape Geeks Airport. This United 737 MAX 8 will be going to Orlando. The United 737 MAX 9 will be going to Phoenix Sky Harbor. This United 737-900 will be going to Chicago O'Hare. And this United 737-900 will be going to Portland, Oregon. All right, that's going to be it for this update. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new. And once again, I would really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Bye. We would like to point out the safety features of this Boeing 737-700 series aircraft. You're looking at the Southwest Airlines bestseller. It's a safety information card. It's in the seat the pocket in front of you. It works as a fan for no extra charge. You're welcome. And it reads as a comic book. It has a lot of short stories. None of them ends well. Absolutely.